In this video, I am going to discuss about Rogers Perry's split brain experiments. In the early 1960s, psychobiologist Rogers Perry began conducting experiment on epileptic patients. Perry discovered that by cutting the structure responsible for connecting and communicating between the left and the right hemispheres of the brain, known as the corpus callosum, seizures could be reduced and even eliminated. Perry received the 1981 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his split brain research. Perry discovered that the left hemisphere of the brain was responsible for language understanding and articulation while the right hemisphere could recognize a word but could not articulate it. In Rogers Perry's split brain experiments, Perry had a split brain patient, someone with a cut corpus callosum, sit in front of a screen that could hide his or her hands. Behind the screen, Perry placed object that the split brain patient could not see. The patient would then focus their eyes to the center of the screen and a word would appear on the screen in the patient's left visual field. This information was then received by the right hemisphere of the brain, that is the non-verbal part. The result was that the patient was actually unable to tell Sperry the word that he or she had seen. Sperry would then ask the patient to use their left hand to reach behind the screen and choose the object that corresponded with the word. Even though the patient was not aware of even seeing a word, the patient was able to choose the correct object. This is because the right hemisphere controls the movement of the left side of the body. To this experiment, Roger Spady was able to successfully show that the left hemisphere of the brain is responsible for controlling reading and speech and that the right hemisphere of the brain does not have the ability to process verbal stimuli. The right brain dominance. The right hemisphere of the brain, which is responsible for the left side of the body, is more capable in tasks that are expressive and creative, also known as visual construction tasks. These include tasks such as expressing and reading emotions, understanding metaphors, discriminating shapes like picking out an object that is camouflaged, copying designs and making music. The left brain dominance. The left hemisphere of the brain, which is responsible for the right side of the body, is more capable at tasks such as language, critical thinking, logical reasoning and use of numbers. Now try this.